Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about battery backup. How to make a simple DIY solar generator for your house. Uninterrupted power has become one of our basic necessities. We realize this only during times of crisis or natural disasters when the electricity is cut off. This is when you will need power backup to run your house. So in this video, I will show you what you will need to make a simple battery backup for your house. How to wire it properly to use the power and stay till the end of the video where I will show you how to add solar power to complete this solar generator. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. To make a simple battery backup, you will need three basic components. One is the battery, two an inverter, and three is the charger to charge the battery up. The commonest and most cheapest battery available in the market is the standard 12 volt car battery. These batteries are available worldwide even in the most remotest of areas. But the problem with these batteries is they are meant only for starting a vehicle, for the lights and for ignition. They are called SLI batteries. They are not meant to be discharged more than 5% of their rated capacity. If you discharge them more than that, their lifespan drastically comes down to around 100-150 cycles. So they can be useful in times of short-term emergencies. But if you go into deep discharges daily, their useful lifespan drops to around 3-5 to five months. The next form of battery currently available is deep cycle lead acid batteries. They also come in three forms. One is flooded lead acid batteries like the one I have here. The others are AGM batteries and gel batteries. These batteries have thicker plates and are able to withstand deep discharges. With discharges of around 50% of their rated capacity, they can last for 2000 cycles which is around 5 years of lifespan. They are a little more expensive and are not freely available like SLI car batteries. Other batteries you can use are lithium ion phosphate, lithium ion batteries and lithium titanate batteries, which are generally more expensive than a lead acid battery and more complex. Next, to run your home appliances, you need a device that converts the 12 volt DC power stored in this lead acid battery into high voltage 220 volts AC power or mains electricity which your home appliances run on. For this, you will need a device called an inverter. What I have here is a 12 volts DC to AC 220 volts 2000 watts pure sine wave inverter. There are two common varieties of inverter available in the market. One is modified sine wave, the other is pure sine wave. Pure sine wave matches the waveform of the mains electricity much better. This is especially important for heavy induction loads such as refrigerators. So if you plan to power your refrigerator, I will recommend you get a pure sine wave inverter. If you just have a few lights, maybe a television, then a modified sine wave inverter may be enough. But fans and fridges won't work properly on modified sine wave. Now we will see how to wire them up to make a simple home battery backup. So now first we are going to connect the input side of the inverter. We are now going to connect these crocodile clips to the battery terminals and power our inverter on. Positive to the positive side. 
and negative to the negative side. And all you have to do now is turn the power switch on. Right, you saw the green light has turned on and it's ready to power your appliances. So all you have to do is take an extension cord and just run it to your appliance. Plug your appliance in and turn it on. This is how you make a simple battery backup for your house. You should remember the battery is only the storage. You can use until whatever power stored in your battery is used up. Once the battery is fully discharged, you have to charge it back up. For this, there are two options. One is to use a battery charger. The other is to use solar power. So if you don't have mains power to recharge your battery up, using a battery charger is not going to work. But you always have free sun power every day on your roof. To utilize this, you need solar panels. Now let's go on top of my roof and have a look at the solar panels I have installed. I'm now on top of my roof and these are my solar panels. This one here is 150 watts and that one 100 watts. Basically what I have done is I'm connecting these solar panels through these thick wires which are going directly into my shed into the solar charge controller. From there it goes the power goes directly into the battery. All you have to do is place these solar panels right on a place where you can get the maximum sunlight throughout the day. These are the wires from my solar panel coming down to my solar charge controller setup. From there, this is this wire is coming back down here which comes to the battery. So I'll connect it now and connect my solar panels to it. Now all I have to do is turn on my buck converter. And now it's charging the battery up. Now you have your very own DIY solar generator to power your house. As long as the sun shines, you will have plenty of power to run your appliances. You can also check out my other videos on how to make a solar powered fridge and solar cooking using induction cookers. In these videos, I am showing you what is possible to run on this simple solar generator. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it among your friends. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.